Welcome to this video on the Interops SAPBW maintenance dashboard. So the goal of this dashboard is to help you get some more insight in the health of your BW system and also to provide some support in the daily maintenance of the system. For example, in helping you monitor and reviewing the daily process chains. The dashboard contains areas on chain monitoring. We will dive into the chain steps. Well, database monitoring, that's not part of this release yet. And finally, we have the user insights. So let's walk you through and start with the daily chain monitor. So this page is really meant for the daily chain management. So you can, for example, see how many chains ended with errors and how many were successfully completed in here. And what it basically does is it compares the run times of the last two runs of your process chains. And this will help you to see if there are any deviations. For example, if a, if a chain runs much longer than the last time, and that could be something to further look into. We also see some chains that haven't run for a long time. And we can switch between the different end states of the chains. So if you want to see some more details on a certain chain or maybe multiple of these chains, we can select them, jump into the chain details, and we go to a more detailed page where we get the, the run times and the comparisons of these individual chains that we just selected. So let's go back. And move to the second page. So the chain monitoring page looks at these process chains on a bit higher level. So where the first page was really for your daily maintenance, this one is more for a longer term analysis on your process chains. For example, is the total runtime of, of a chain, is that increasing or decreasing over time? Do we see for example, differences in the day of the week. So let's select that. And then we see here in the chart the different run times per day. So this could be a starting point for investigation on yeah, some, some differences regarding the day of the week. And we can also do that for the hour of the day. And we're on the first page we were comparing the last two runs. We are now comparing the runs of the current month versus the previous month, and here on the right side, even the current year versus the prior year. Of course, we can also do that on a chain detail level. So in these charts here down below, we see, for example, uh, the chains with the results over uh, the two months. So the third page looks into the step details. So a process chain consists of a number of steps. For example, a data load step where you load the data via a DTP or a step that activates a DSO. So all these steps, and we can see these step types here in this filter, can be further analyzed on this page. So for example, if I make a selection here to only see the DTP load steps, Then again, we can do comparisons over the current and the prior month, and here on the right side, over the current and the previous year. And similarly, we can look at start time, days of the week. We can filter on the, the, the state if the step ended with an error or was successfully completed. So we can use this to check out what is really taking most of the time in the process chain. And again, also see if there are changes over time occurring. Is, for example, such a DTP load taking more time compared to last year? Well, the database monitoring, and that's still under construction. So let's go to the user insights. This page will help you get an understanding in how 
the system is used by the users. So for example, here we see we have 81 users in the system. Unfortunately, 31 have not logged in yet. And what we can do, for example, is click on this KPI and jump to a more detailed page to see which accounts haven't logged in yet and what might be the reason uh, for that. So we see these accounts are not locked and they also are valid. So this could, for example, help to check with these users why they haven't been able to log in yet or if they maybe don't need the account anymore. Going back to the user insight page. Well, let's remove the filter. This also shows the different password states. So maybe something is wrong with that. And here we can see the time since the last login. For example, here we have seven users who haven't logged in for the past 60 days. And also here we can click on the number and use the jump to, to go to the details to check out which user accounts these are. So this will help you get inside. It, it will help you lower license cost and it will help you also to improve the usage of the system. And with that, we are at the end of the walkthrough. Check interdops.nl for more information or use the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.